Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. Welcome to the second 2D game design tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be making a floating island in Gravit Designer. If you don't have Gravit Designer, I left a link down in the description. It's free, you can download it or use it online. Let's go ahead and make a new document. 1920 in width and 1080 in height. We want our units to be pixels. Go ahead and choose the rectangle tool and add a rectangle to the artboard. And then give it a sky blue color. I'm using the hex code of A9CEE6. Then go ahead and rename the default layer background. And then lock it. Add a new layer. And we'll call this island. Grab your rectangle tool and draw out a rectangle. Then we're going to go ahead and change the width to 800 pixels and the height to 30 pixels. And then place it in the center of the artboard. Now go ahead and fill this rectangle with a green color. This is going to be our grass. I'm using the hex code of 4BAA2D. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add rectangles that hang from this island base that will just form grass overflowing the edge of the actual island and we're just going to make them out of rectangles. But you can go ahead and use the same color as the island base or you can change it. Just remember when you're making these rectangles don't make them uniform. When you have all of your rectangles made, go ahead and select all the rectangles, including your island base, and hit Control G to group them. Now let's go ahead and select the triangle tool, and holding down Shift, draw out a triangle, and fill it with a mid-tone gray, which the default actually is fine. And that is hex code of EB, EB, EB. If you hold down your shift key, you can go ahead and spin this around so the point is down. And then just put it under the island base. Make a couple copies. And select all three of these triangles and control G to group them together and then move this group to the bottom of the layer stack so it's behind the grass that we made. Now we're going to want to make smaller triangles and place them on top of these triangles. So select your triangle tool Draw out a triangle and fill this with a darker gray. 
I'm going to use the hex code of 5C 5B 59. Then again, just rotate them so the point is down. And then just scale them and make multiple copies. Go ahead and select all of your triangles and control G to group them together. And then go ahead and drag this group to the middle of the stack. Lock your island layer and add a new layer. And we'll name this one Hills. Select your ellipse tool. Go ahead and make an ellipse and fill it with a slightly darker green color. I'm using the hex code of 397227. Select your rectangle tool. Place a rectangle over the bottom half of the ellipse. Select your rectangle and then select your ellipse. And then go ahead and select subtract to delete the bottom half of the ellipse. Where it says compound shape, right click on it and select convert to path. Go back to your rectangle tool and draw a rectangle over the right half of this ellipse and give it a darker green color I'm using the hex code 325028. Then select your rectangle and then select the ellipse and then click on clip and that will make a clipping mask. Then go ahead and move this hill onto the top of our grass area. And go ahead and make duplicates and you can scale them and place them where you want to place them. Now lock your hills layer, add another layer, we will call this mountains, select your triangle tool, draw out a triangle, and go ahead and give this a mid-tone gray. I'm going to change my color to the hex code of 737B82 Add a rectangle over the right hand side of this triangle Fill the rectangle with a darker tone of gray I'm using the hex code 4E5359 Select the rectangle and then select your triangle and click on clip to make a clipping mask. Move your mountain layer below the hill layer. Then move your mountain on top of the island base. 
and position them and make duplicates. Select all three of the mountains layers in your layer stack and go ahead and duplicate them. Select the three layers on the very bottom of the stack and change their size and their position. And once you have them in position, you can go ahead and change the opacity down to 30%. Lock your mountain layers. Add a new layer. Call this clouds. Select your ellipse tool and make three ellipses. Make sure that they're filled with a white color, which the hex code is just all Fs. Select all your ellipses and then click on Union to join them all together. Select your Rectangle tool. Place a rectangle at the bottom of the clouds. Select the rectangle and then the ellipses. And then choose Subtract. And go ahead and make duplicates of various sizes to place around your scene. And there you have a very simple floating island background. If you follow along with this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please tweet me your creations. The link is in the description below. If you have any questions or suggestions for tutorials, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.